Hello everybody, welcome to our tutorial today on how to deal with aeromagnetic data through Bitrail. Usually the aeromagnetic maps is coming with this shape uh, and something sometimes you find it dense and hard to digitize and the rest you can digitize it very easy. We already digitized this map using digitized software. I can show you how to digitize this in a separate uh, video later on after digitizing uh, this map the output file is coming with this shape uh, this one by the way is general ASCII or text file uh, x y and value magnetic value for each magnetic value represent each contour line by the way, you have to separate each um, each magnetic contour by closing the contour by uh, put uh, negative nine 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 or any odd number. Okay. Now let's go for Bitrail to upload this data. Right click and import file. Use general lines and point to this file so open a uh, number of header line of course one because we have one line here and count it then okay for all i'm not going to check this negate z value because we already have negative or positive values for uh, uh, magnetic data for line type we should use horizon contour we treat this data as horizon or structure okay then okay for all already uploaded the file here let's show on 2d map yes as you see here uh, this map is, is a part of this map because uh, it's hard to digitize this data anyway uh, let's differentiate it by the color by value okay. color and choose local we will use a limit for minimum and maximum from where we get these numbers we have to go for statistics and see what is the minimum and maximum negative 13 and positive 22 Let's go here, negative 13 and positive 22 let's go for style and for line color choose by value then apply okay you notice here our area of interest is almost same contour line contour name uh, contour colors is not correct now we are going to make uh, filtering let's click ok for a while and let's uh, make a polygon here to embedded make a new polygon ok just a simple problem to filter the data outside this range makes sense Okay, I think this this 
data is due to this uh, represent the basement or basement high or some mountains or, or something like this we can show you later on okay <clears throat> let's filter this set of data by right click setting and operation eliminate outside eliminate outside means we will eliminate all of this data outside our specified polygon okay. and point to the polygon okay we should in the first time click here to make a new copy don't alter the original data for future use okay then run then uh, choose the polygon again click run this already cut the outside data um, then click ok now we are dealing with only this data inside the polygon ok right click again setting to see the minimum and maximum value already change so our area of interest uh, the range of the values between negative one and one so we need to refine the search again negative one and one click ok ok now more uh, realistic one the red one choose uh, something like closures upside ok let's see uh, its location on geography object pink map image which is the best resolution then click ok now this map already displayed geographically you can calibrate this closure with surface surface because this one this colors representing the aero mag and the aero mag data usually is qualitative qualitative not quantitative you can you cannot uh, detect the depth but you can uh, compare which which uh, which region is high and which uh, is low thank you for